intensity may be more than some wish to be exposed to. And those people should be forewarned. Hey guys, welcome to a new edition of A Haunter's Life. Many of y'all have been getting in touch with me saying that y'all want A Haunter's Life back. Uh, y'all want more episodes and all this. Uh, just to kind of let you update, I am now up in uh, Akron, Ohio. I am with uh, John Eslich that owns Factory of Terror and he just bought this place. The Haunted Schoolhouse and Laboratory in Akron, Ohio. It has been around since 1974. So in these uh, episodes of this season, we've got less than five months to get two of these haunted houses up and running and ready to go. So I'll be going through and just filming everything we're doing and all the insaneness that's going to happen. Enjoy. here is all going to be escape games. We're going to have four escape games in this location right now. This, this is the party center. This is a uh, addition to the schoolhouse that's behind the schoolhouse. Again, I've only been here, you know, uh, this is my third week, I think. I'm already losing track already. So much going on around the fenced in area, around the laboratory was basically full of a lot, a lot, a lot of junk. And then trees. My gosh, the trees. So what we've been doing is cutting them down. If you notice, cutting them down over here. Uh, this is what the guys were working on today until lightning and thunder struck. And, uh, and it pour started pouring down, so. But uh, we don't have very many left. By the way, this place looked like a jungle. And it looked like a junkyard. Which, of course, you still got some stuff, you know, here or there that we got to clean out. But, uh, it's getting there. Been a lot of work between all these guys. Again, this thing was full of trees. Just full. Inside, outside. That's the only one standing now. And then, of course, we're going to have this bigger one here. That's the only other one that's going to stand. So now, I, I, I am in an area that's right behind the uh, laboratory which is the four-story building that we're talking about it's called the dudecagon i don't know if i'm saying that right this is what i say it's a 12-sided building i think it's the only 12-sided building anywhere the entrance is right here into here and actually this is the queue line area for the place inside and i don't know if we're going to change any of this or not this year i think we're going to change it next year but We've went and bought a 21, I think 21 feet, six inch demon god. Uh, and we came back and found out the, uh, the ceiling is only 19 foot 10. So we went ahead and went and picked it up in Columbus and brought it to, uh, from Scare Factory. And we brought it, instead of bringing it here, we went ahead and took it to Factory of Terror down in Canton to have Scott and Mike uh, go ahead and chop off about four feet off of it so we could go ahead and fit it in here, plus not have it hitting the roof, plus be able to put some lights maybe above it that kind of shine down on it um, for our new queue line area. <laughs>
So just to let you know, the big room that we're working on now is the auditorium. And uh, if you kind of look at it, it's back in the day when they used to do medical experiments or autopsies or whatever, while the other doctors and all that set up in like stands. You know, kind of like an auditorium where the guy is laying, you know, you have somebody laying on the table, whoever it is, alive or dead, and they're doing an experiment on them or autopsy and whatnot. So, that's what we're building in this room, and that is the big project that we're working on right now inside. Not only that, we have also uh, taken out this room here. This room here is uh, going to be the prep room. What it is, is they're going to come through the auditorium into the prep room, which is the prep room is it's going to be separated by two double doors here, which basically this is the area they get either the patients or dead bodies, whichever one you want to put into this and wheel them out into where the doctor would do that and wheel the other ones back in. So they'd come through here and go into this long hallway. This wasn't a long, this was a hallway, but it was very confined. We widened it up. We're actually going to make this the cooler. We actually bought two uh, poison prop uh, those cooler kick feet, you know, that do the, the feet and kicking and all that as they're in there. We bought two of those. We're actually gonna build four. So I'm gonna build two stationaries along with having the animatronic ones there. So as I said, we got the cooler door here. Uh, we, we robbed that from another room. We're gonna be bringing them around. Again, putting a huge facade of what looks like a cooler and then having them run through this hallway in which of course this will be the very end of the second, the second floor of the lab. There's four floors. Right there. Can you get your own the Keep me up for me. I gotta go that one there. Right there. Yep. Go screw in your own Kind of give you a, uh, kind of how things are going. Um, again, this is a, I don't know if you've seen the old time, uh, Dr auditoriums where they do the procedures in the middle but here's an update on it where we've almost got everything skinned um, they'll basically walk up here there's gonna be railings here we still got to get those done and then of course they'll come right down here along where the doctor's table is gonna be another project that we're working on is the fourth floor of the lab the fourth floor we have completely gutted out uh, they did have like a 3D attraction, uh, you know, part of the attraction up here. And uh, we're tearing it out and putting all new stuff in. So we've got everything down to these uh, original walls here and then the brick wall. However, if you notice, they painted everything black. So what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to strip all that black paint off to get it down to the original, you know, brick and, and mortar so we can have that natural look. Um, so that's what we're waiting on now. Uh, waiting on somebody to come in so we can start stripping all this paint off the walls. And then once we do that, we can start building. So not only are we building stuff, but we're also cleaning stuff. Uh, Again, this haunt's been around for 40, this will be a 44th year. So a lot of stuff to go through, a lot of stuff that uh, has been, nothing's been very organized. So we have to do that and we have to organize some stuff. So again, this, this whole place here was just a huge, huge, huge just set up area for a mess. But now We got cleaned up. This is where the actors hang out before they go up into their scenes. Um, these are cabinets that we still got to go through, which has tons of electro electrical stuff and all that in it. Uh, again, we just cleared off all the tables. All this is what was in these cabinets over here. These cabinets over here. Of course, now we got, you know, fog fluid. And, uh, you know, but now they're all empty so we've got to find out what we got what we don't have again this is just all the process of uh 
you know, us trying to get ready for the season. Um, again, I'm trying to make it where we got a costume room here. Uh, again, it's a little small, but we'll, we'll make it work. Uh, we did clean out the makeup room. Makeup room's here. So it goes around with an L-shaped. So you get that. We did clean this area up. We got everything uh, organized. Uh, the next thing to organize would be uh, this spot right here. We'll have a uh, male come in and do that. We're actually going to make this where this is their check-in spot. When they come in, they're going to check in here and then proceed to go to makeup and uh, costuming. So we're actually going to make this area the check-in spot. But uh, yeah, so we've just been, today has been a, uh, a cleanup day, um, and then we'll probably uh, start working on that scene a little bit later. Good times. I'm excited. Love organization. Oh, the fun part. We're out of two by fours, which means I gotta get some. Yeah, I've got to do that so many times until I get another nice stack of lumber up there and then dwindle it down and do it all over again. <laughs>